Dr. Lakshmi Kocha. I'm the director of Center for Molecular Design and Preformulations, and I'm also a scientist at UHN and an associate professor at the University of Toronto in the Faculty of Pharmacy there. And my research group uh, works in the area of uh, medicinal chemistry, and primarily what we do is uh, we try to design new strategies for drugs uh, for a variety of diseases uh, such as multiple sclerosis, cancer, uh, thrombocytopenia, uh, malaria, uh, and, and, and the like. Uh, I think uh, University Health Network uh, overall is one of the best places in the, in the world for health-related research, and, uh, uh, and it's uh, probably comparable to the top three in the world uh, without any question. Uh, the, the quality of research is definitely you know, visible through the high quality papers that we publish and of course the, the fantastic scientists that we have at uh, UHN and most of whom are all appointed at the University of Toronto uh, where, where we teach uh, in a variety of courses there. real strength of uh, UHN comes in the interdisciplinary research that we do uh, across various uh, uh, health related areas. Uh, probably uh, I think uh, uh, three hospital research institutes under the one umbrella uh, plus the, the ability to amalgamate clinical sciences to basic sciences both in basic science and engineering uh, I think provides one of the best environments in general uh, as well as a unique environment uh, when you compare this to any other hospital research institute or a university setup uh, anywhere in the world. Um, I think uh, you know uh, certainly the University Health Network is positioned to go into multiple directions but on the higher end in the next five years we have built the strength through a variety of initiatives in the past 10 years uh, at UHN and uh, we probably are going to be positioned uh, you know, in much strongly uh, to do the translational research where we have the strength in almost all basic sciences that one can en envision and uh, clinical sciences definitely we have had for a, for a number of decades now. So I think UHN has comprehensively now uh, the ability to do uh, all health related uh, research under one roof. And uh, in the next five years, I can see many, many of our discoveries reaching the clinical stages, uh, more, more from the basic sciences to reaching the clinical stages, which is probably uh, possible under, under University Health Network and through the efforts that have come through our leadership and of course I should say all the scientists and the trainees that play a very integral role in, in advancing all the science that goes on here. Um, at University Health Network we have the advantage of being a uh, kitty corner from the University of Toronto and uh, that provides uh, advantages to trainees primarily in two respects. One is that Almost every scientist here is appointed at the University of Toronto uh, who has, has, a, has a, some sort of academic career. And many of the scientists teach at the University of Toronto as well. So uh, the trainees at University Health Network take advantage of this uh, intense scientific environment at UHN as well as the academic mentorship that they could obtain uh, as if uh, one were at the University of Toronto uh, umbrella. Uh, in addition to that, one can access uh, each and every resource that's available at the university as well as at the University Health Network, expanding their ability to learn and perhaps build a very productive career uh, in, in health sciences as, as they make their way through uh, the graduate school or undergraduate at the University of Toronto uh, and through the University Health Network trainee programs here. Um, absolutely. Uh, I think uh, uh, sometimes uh, you know a big institute institutes could create uh, uh, a little bit of confusion for especially for young trainees how to find their uh, way around. Uh, so my advice to any any trainee rather would be to uh, uh, to focus and uh, see what exactly they want to accomplish, uh, but at the same time uh, learn from all the opportunities that are available around them 
both at the University Health Network and the university. Uh, and uh, persistence is another important thing that, that perhaps is very much required at the, at the University Health Network related researches because we work on very complex problems. Some of these perhaps were never even thought about. So that requires a lot of hard work and persistence and that is visible through uh, all the scientists and the research that we do. But I think the new trainers who come in uh, will have to realize that uh, not everything is uh, uh, a cakewalk and one has to focus and be persistent to achieve the goals uh, so that they can move on to the next level of careers uh, wherever they choose to go.